Former MP and JVP Politburo member Sunil Handunethi made a revelation today during a media briefing held at the party headquarters. They did not pass an appropriation bill last year. Instead, they approved a vote on account to draw funds for the first quarter of 2020, which expired on the 30th of April. On the 2nd of March, Parliament was dissolved. As stipulated on the Fiscal Responsibility Act of 2003, within three weeks after the dissolution of Parliament, the government has to formally issue a report to the general public on the financial situation of the country. The incumbent government published the said report on the website of the Ministry of Finance on the 23rd of March. The report bears the signature of Prime Minister Mahindra Raj Paksa in his capacity as the Minister of Finance. This is the relevant report. On page 12 of the report, they speak of another vote on account. A vote on account in March 2020 allocating money to the government. One fact that is clearly mentioned here is that, according to the Gazette issued on the 2nd of March, Parliament has been dissolved. While Parliament remains dissolved in that manner, based on the provisions of Article 150, Sub-Article 3 of the Constitution, the President has issued a vote on account for a period of three months, effective from the 6th of March. However, by the 6th of March, Parliament remained dissolved. As mentioned in this report, an allocation of 1.229 trillion has been made. Our question is, how was this done? No one has the authority to pass a vote on account without the approval of Parliament, without it being voted on. Anything done otherwise is unconstitutional and illegal. On page 13, revenue is estimated at 420 billion and expenditure at 1.229 trillion. Who approved this? Can an individual get a vote on account approved in this manner? They have utilized the provisions of Article 150, sub Article 3 of the Constitution to do this. Article 150, sub Article 3 of the Constitution very clearly states this. This is what is being heavily debated at present. It says, where the President dissolves Parliament before the appropriation bill for the financial year has passed into law, he may, unless Parliament shall have already made provisions, authorize the issue from the consolidated fund and the expenditure of such sums as he may consider necessary for the public services until the expiry of a period of three months from the date on which the new Parliament is summoned to meet. The President is not empowered through this provision to approve votes on account in this manner. The provision clearly states the President may only authorize the issue from the consolidated fund until the expiry of three months after a new parliament is summoned to meet, which means if the election is held in June, the president can authorize the issue from the consolidated fund for three months after the date the new parliament is summoned to meet. What have they done here? They have utilized this provision and have formulated a vote on account amounting to 1.229 trillion four days after parliament was dissolved, that is the 6th of March. They must be held accountable for this. Just because it says vote on account does not mean it has been approved. There are two types of vote on account. The definition of vote on account means spending under the provisions elaborated through an account. That can only be approved before the lapse of three months after the new parliament convenes. Sajid Premadasa and his gang, including Mangala Samaravira, vehemently opposed the supplementary estimate we brought forward on the last day of the old parliament. We withdrew that proposal immediately because we knew the parliament would be dissolved in a few days and thereafter financial powers would be vested with the president. Therefore, I would like to tell that person all financial activities have been carried out properly and legally by the president and his secretary P.B. Jayasundra. P.B. Jayasundra is the longest serving secretary to the Ministry of Finance. His PhD is in financial economics. These decisions have been made with an accurate knowledge regarding it. Please do not crack any jokes. The President holds the authority until the new parliament convenes and a supplementary estimate is approved.